my god, that's right, sweetheart. Our next guest is the newest cook of the town. This hunky monkey love piston Viennese oyster eating sass crotch having penis McFlurry of a man, Mr. Dick Denham. Denham, you're looking good, baby. You're looking real fucking good, yeah? <laughs> you're looking real fucking good, baby. So fucking good. I want to know who fucking dressed you because you look just fucking stunning. You know what I mean? How you doing, Dick? Oh, I'm superb, Krusty. How you doing? Um, <laughs> it's, it's Krusty. That's what I fucking said. I said Krusty. No, no. Krusty. Krusty. Hey, you dumb fucking shit. No, no. Krusty. Krusty. Yeah, like a fucking Krusty Krab or something, right? Krusty with a C. No, a K. no, no. Cree us say. Let's give you that name, Krusty. Because by the time that I come on your back, you're definitely crusty, you know? Oh, that's so uh, you're such a you're such a dog. So I gotta ask you, what is it that drew you to this choice and career? I would say You know, there was one time I was kind of like a lonely bloke and um I called my ex and she, you know, gave me the wits and just said, no, fuck you, this and that, why not? You only just want me for my pussy and blah, blah, blah. But then I said, but that was some good dick you had, didn't you? She was like, yeah, that really was. And so, like, I remember, like, I came over and I was like, listen, you know, just, I want to miss our relationship and all that. Like, everything was really great. So, well, let's just record it for good's sake and, like, let's just try it. And so we did. And I just love the way that I was fucking her. And I love the way that my cock looked that day, you know what I mean? Because I gave it a nice little perm on the pubes. And um, yeah, I had some jerry curls in there and it was and it was amazing. It was just bloody fucking amazing. And I said, I need, I need to make this happen for me. It was that day that I needed to make this happen. So thank you to my bloody ex for letting me fuck her one last time and fuck with that cunt that whoever you're with now, he's ugly as shit. And I know you know that. Oh. Tell us about your journey and struggles. Well, I can't tell you too much. Now, you won't really watch show, will you? You fucking cunt. Asian American from Burbank. No one would hire me. It's too boring, you know? But watching Bridget Jones' diary and notice all oh, these fucking bitches love the fucking accent, yeah? So I said, hey, I put on this pommy persona for a charming, romantic, sexy vibe and team up with an all-American denim look. You gotta have the fucking denim there, Krusty. Went back and it took fucking off. Oh my god, that's so interesting. And what led you to turning your fascinating journey into a reality show? Well, a lot of things really led. Um, th there was this one time, really, that I was watching um, a nice, nice, nice amateur video in the blue and I started to jerk my cock and my mom was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're taking so bloody long. And I, I noticed that what kept me hard was just the way that it was shot. It was so cinematic. You have not, there's, there's an art form into doing this. Really, there, there, there is. It's not about just, it's not about the sex. The sex is like second best, but it's just like you make it into a fucking movie. And right then and there, I wanted to become a movie star, baby. It was just, I, I knew that I was born for this. You know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh my God, sweetheart. How has this changed your life? Really, really good question. I don't really think that it really changed my life besides my cock is famous all over the internet but aside from that I think I'm changing other people's lives and I think that's that's the really important part of it is that I'm changing other people's lives with my cock and that's the best thing ever you know like I'm giving and they're receiving and I think being a giver is better than being a receiver you know and even my mom told me when I was a young little boy she said you're always a giver and I said I know mom I know, and I finally figured out that it was me giving it to all these people who want dick denim. Oh, so Mr. Dick, if that's what they call you, do you have an idol? Someone you admire? <laughs> Maybe me? <laughs> I do, actually. I do. And now thinking about from like the top of my head, Jerry fucking Jizzbag. Oh yeah, you know how he got that fucking name, yeah? Well, shit. Let me tell you. Jerry Jizzbag. Definitely. 
is one of those blokes that are just ah, oh, he's 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 my idol. I would let him jizz all over my fucking body anytime that he fucking wants on command. I'm there because if it wasn't for fucking Jerry's Jang, then I would not be here where I am today. So Jerry, if you're watching this, because I know you are, you dumb cunt. I guarantee you, if you're watching this, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for not just sharing your lifestyle, but sharing your jizz with me. Oh, oh yeah? And what do you like to do? I can't tell you that. No, 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 no. No. Um, I know. I love it. I love it. It's just, it's, it's always nice and moist, and sometimes it has this bit of an aroma of like, kind of, it's not really manure, I think of it more like dirt, like, oh, soil, oh, no, 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 you know what, you know what, I like the way that I really do anal after church on Sundays, and after early morning breakfast, why, because it's just, it's so fresh, the, the, the fumes are there from last night, and it's just, it's just amazing when you just skate your fucking asshole, and just everything comes out, it's like, it's the experience of smelling the asphalt, and the streets after rain, it's just, there's something that it just, it just, it hits just right. So, to answer your question, it's all anal. Anything that has to do with a butt, I'm in. 100% all the way, 10 inches deep. What the fuck is that? Yeah, is that music? Oh, we are out of time. But I'm really interested to know more about that thing you do with the, uh, you know, the fingers in the head. Maybe you could stick around and show me. Uh, Christy, we still have two more interviews. Right now. <laughs> that girl got a bite on her, don't she? Yeah, she does. Hey, don't you go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We still got a lot more to come with In Bed with Kriusti Live. All right, all right, all right.